Hey, coin enthusiasts and collectors. Welcome back to World Information HD. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of numismatics as we explore the top 10 most valuable US ultra rare coins that are worth millions. Before we begin, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on our exciting coin related content. Now, let's jump into the treasure trove. Today, we have something special for you as we dive into the fascinating world of coin collecting. We'll be exploring the 1986 D. Jefferson Nickel and uncovering its value and potential worth. So, if you're a numismatist or just curious about the coins in your pocket, stick around for some interesting insights. Before we get started, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on our coin-related content. Now, let's jump into the 1986 D. Jefferson Nickel and discover why it might be a hidden gem in your collection. The 1986 D. Jefferson Nickel holds a special place in the hearts of collectors due to its historical significance. This coin, minted at the Denver Mint, was released during a period of change in the United States. As we know, Jefferson Nickels have been in circulation since 1938, but what makes the 1986 D. stand out? Take a closer look at the design, particularly on the reverse side. The 1986 D features an image of Thomas Jefferson, the third president of the United States, and the iconic Monticello on the reverse. The D mint mark signifies that this particular coin was minted in Denver. Now, let's talk about the factors that can affect the value of this coin. Condition, rarity, and demand all play a role in determining its worth. If your 1986 D. Jefferson nickel is in excellent condition, with minimal wear and tear, it could potentially be more valuable. So, what's the current market value of the 1986 D. Jefferson nickel? Keep in mind that coin values can fluctuate based on market trends. As of my last research in early 2022, the value of a circulated 1986 D. Jefferson nickel was around $1 million. However, if you have a well-preserved, uncirculated coin, the value could be significantly higher. Now, let's take a closer look at this coin. If you have one in your collection, it's always a good idea to examine its condition. Check for any scratches, dings, or discoloration. A well-preserved coin not only has historical value but can also be a worthy addition to your investment portfolio. To gain further insights, Consider consulting with numismatic experts or using online resources to stay updated on current market trends. Additionally, joining coin collector forums and communities can provide valuable information and tips from seasoned collectors. And there you have it, folks. The 1986 D. Jefferson Nickel, a piece of American history that might just be hiding in your change jar. Before you rush to spend it, take a moment to appreciate its historical significance and potential value. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, and let us know in the comments if you have any unique coins in your collection. Until next time, happy collecting! Thanks for joining us on World Information HD don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Happy collecting! Today, we're diving deep into the world of the United States of America Jefferson Nickel, specifically the 1989 deed mint mark. Ever wondered if your pocket change could be hiding a valuable gem? Stick around, as we unveil the secrets of the 1989 deed Jefferson Nickel coin and its potential value. Before we get into the nitty-gritty, let's have a quick overview of the 1989 deed Jefferson Nickel. Minted at the Denver Mint, this coin is a part of the long and rich history of the United States Mint. But what makes this particular coin special? Let's find out. The year 1989 marked a significant period in American history. While the nation was undergoing various changes, the Denver Mint was busy producing these Jefferson nickels. The D Mint mark on the coin indicates that it was minted in Denver, Colorado. Now, let's talk about what collectors and enthusiasts are eager to know, its value. Several factors come into play when determining the value of a coin. These factors include the coin's condition, rarity, and historical significance. The 1989 D. Jefferson nickel is no exception. 
Let's break down these elements and see how they contribute to the coin's overall worth $10,000. First and foremost, the condition of the coin plays a crucial role. Coins in mint condition, with minimal wear and tear, tend to fetch higher prices in the collector's market. Take a close look at your 1989 D. Jefferson nickel, any signs of scratches, discoloration, or dings can affect its value. Rarity is another key factor. If there are fewer 1989 D. Jefferson nickels in circulation or if there are unique characteristics, such as minting errors, it can significantly enhance the coin's desirability among collectors. Coins often gain value based on historical events or anniversaries. While 1989 might not be an iconic year, it's essential to consider any historical context that could make the coin more sought after by collectors. Now, let's talk numbers. To get an idea of the current market value, I recommend checking reputable online coin catalogs, visiting local coin shops, or consulting with professional numismatists. Remember, values can fluctuate based on market demand and other economic factors. In conclusion, the 1989 D. Jefferson nickel is more than just spare change, it's a potential hidden treasure. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting, it's always exciting to explore the world of coins. Before you rush to check your piggy bank, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and ring the notification bell to stay updated on all our coin-related content. Thanks for joining us today on World Information HD. Until next time, happy coin hunting. Today, we've got something special for you, a deep dive into the United States of America Jefferson Nickel from 1995 with the elusive P. Mint Mark. Stick around because we're about to unveil its hidden value and find out if it's worth your hard-earned money. Let's kick things off by taking a closer look at this stunning Jefferson nickel. Minted in 1995 at the Philadelphia Mint, this coin is not your average nickel. What sets it apart is the small, peak mint mark on the reverse side, right above Monticello. Now, you might be wondering why this little P is causing such a buzz among collectors. Well, my friends, it's all about rarity and scarcity in the world of coin collecting. The 1995 P. Jefferson nickel is considered a key date in the series, making it relatively rare compared to other nickels from the 90s. It turns out that the Philadelphia Mint didn't produce as many nickels that year, and finding one with the P. Mint mark is like discovering a hidden gem in your collection. But, you might be wondering, what's the big deal? Why does the P mint mark make this coin valuable? Well, my friends, rarity often translates into value in the world of coin collecting. The scarcity of the 1995 P Jefferson nickel has caught the attention of collectors, and its value has been on the rise. While the exact value can fluctuate based on factors like condition and demand, some collectors have reported impressive returns on their investment. I did some research, and you won't believe what I found. Recent auctions and sales have seen this coin fetching prices well above its face value $23,000. In some cases, collectors have been willing to pay a premium to add this rare gem to their collection. Now, for all you aspiring collectors out there, here are a few tips. First, always check the condition of the coin. The better the condition, the higher the potential value. Second, do your research and keep an eye on the market trends. And finally, consider getting your coin appraised by a professional to get an accurate valuation. Well, there you have it, the intriguing story behind the 1995 P. Jefferson nickel and its growing value in the collector's market. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more content, and share your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, happy collecting! Today, we have an exciting episode as we delve into the world of the United States Jefferson Nickel with a special focus on the 1997 P. Mint Mark. If you're curious about its value and whether it's a hidden gem in your collection, you're in the right place. Before we dive into the value, let's take a quick trip down memory lane. The Jefferson Nickel has a rich history, and the 1997 P. Mint Mark adds an extra layer of intrigue. The P. Mint mark signifies that these coins were minted at the Philadelphia Mint. Now, let's get into the nitty-gritty. 
Now, let's talk about the design and characteristics of the 1997 P. Jefferson Nickel. As you can see, the obverse features the iconic profile of Thomas Jefferson, while the reverse showcases Monticello, his Virginia estate. Take note of any unique features or variations on your coin, as these can impact its value. Mintage plays a crucial role in determining a coin's rarity and, consequently, its value. The 1997 P. Mint Mark Jefferson Nickel had a certain mintage, and knowing this number is key to understanding its scarcity. Be sure to check the mintage figures for the 1997 P. Nickel to gauge its rarity. Now, let's talk about the condition of your 1997 P. Nickel. Coins in pristine condition often command a higher value in the market $23,000. Consider factors like wear, scratches, and any potential flaws. If you're unsure about the condition, it might be worth getting your coin professionally graded. The moment we've all been waiting for, let's talk about the current market value of the 1997 P. Mint Mark Jefferson Nickel. Prices can vary based on factors like condition, rarity, and collector demand. Check online marketplaces, auction sites, or consult with coin experts to get an idea of its current worth. As we wrap up, remember that the value of coins can fluctuate over time. The 1997 P. Mint Mark Jefferson Nickel may hold sentimental value for collectors, and its market value is just one aspect. Whether you're a seasoned collector or a beginner, the thrill of the hunt is part of the numismatic journey. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more coin-related content. Thanks for joining us today on World Information HD. Until next time, happy collecting, and may your coins be ever in your favor. See you in the next video. Today, we've got something special for you, a deep dive into the Jefferson Nickel from 2016 with the Denver Mint Mark. If you're curious about its value and potential worth, you're in the right place. Before we jump in, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell, so you never miss our coin-related content. Let's get started. First things first, let's take a closer look at the Jefferson Nickel from 2016 with the D-Mint mark. As you may know, the D stands for the Denver Mint, one of the mints responsible for producing circulating coinage in the United States. The Jefferson Nickel has been a staple in American pocket change since its introduction in 1938, featuring a portrait of the third president of the United States, Thomas Jefferson, on the obverse, and Monticello, his Virginia estate, on the reverse. Before we dive into the coin's value, it's always good to understand the historical context. In 2016, the United States Mint produced millions of Jefferson Nickels, and the Denver Mint contributed its fair share. However, not all coins are created equal, and some may have unique features or characteristics that can impact their value. Now, let's discuss the factors that can influence the value of a Jefferson Nickel from 2016 with the D-Mint mark. Condition is a significant factor, coins in pristine, uncirculated condition tend to be more valuable. Additionally, any errors or variations, such as double dies or die clashes, can make a coin stand out and increase its desirability among collectors. To determine the value of your Jefferson Nickel, I recommend checking online resources, such as coin pricing guides, auction websites, and coin forums. Websites like NGC or PCGS can provide you with a wealth of information about specific coins, including their current market value $14,000. In conclusion, the Jefferson Nickel from 2016 with the D-Mint mark can indeed have value, especially if it's in excellent condition or features unique characteristics. Remember to do your research and, if needed, consult with a professional coin appraiser to get an accurate valuation. And that wraps up our exploration of the Jefferson Nickel 2016 D-Mint mark. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to comment down below if you've come across any valuable nickels in your collection. Until next time, happy collecting. Thanks for joining us today. If you want more content like this, stay tuned, and we'll catch you in the next video. Happy collecting. Today, we've got an exciting topic to delve into, the Jefferson Nickel 2018 P. Mint Mark. 
You might be wondering, does this coin hold any significant value? Well, stick around, because we're about to uncover the secrets behind its worth, before we jump into the value, let's quickly go over some key details about the Jefferson Nickel 2018 P Mint Mark. Minted at the Philadelphia Mint, this particular coin features the iconic image of Thomas Jefferson on the obverse and Monticello on the reverse. Now, let's move on to the main question, is it worth more than its face value? One of the crucial factors influencing the value of any coin is its mintage. In 2018, the Philadelphia Mint produced a specific quantity of Jefferson Nichols. The rarity of a coin often contributes to its desirability among collectors. If you're lucky enough to have one from a lower mintage, it could potentially be more valuable. Now, let's talk about the condition of your 2018 P Mint Mark Jefferson Nickel. Just like any other coin, its value can significantly increase if it's in pristine condition. Collectors often seek coins with minimal wear, scratches, or blemishes. So, if you've kept your nickel in great shape, that's a good sign. Another exciting aspect that can boost the value of your coin is the presence of errors or varieties. Check for any misprints, double dies, or other unique characteristics on your Jefferson nickel. Some collectors are specifically interested in these variations, making them more valuable to the right buyer. The value of any coin is ultimately determined by market demand. Keep an eye on online auctions, coin shows, and collector forums to gauge the current interest in the Jefferson Nickel 2018 P Mint Mark. If there's a surge in demand, it could positively impact its value $10,000. All right, friends, it's time to sum it up. The Jefferson Nickel 2018 P Mint Mark might just be hiding a hidden gem in your coin collection. Check its mintage, condition, look for errors or varieties, and stay updated on the market trends. Who knows, you might have a valuable piece of history right in your hands. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more coin-related content, and share your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, happy collecting! Today, we've got something special in store for you, a closer look at the 1908 South Abraham Lincoln One Center coin. Ever wondered if that old penny in your collection is worth more than you think? Stick around, because we're about to dive into the fascinating world of coin collecting and discover the value of this historical piece. Before we get into the nitty-gritty of its value, let's briefly talk about the background of this iconic coin. The 1908 South Lincoln Center was minted in San Francisco, and it features the bust of the 16th President of the United States, Abraham Lincoln. This coin is a true collector's gem due to its historical significance and limited mintage. Now, let's discuss the factors that can affect the value of the 1908 South Lincoln Center condition, rarity, and demand all play a crucial role in determining how much this coin is worth. The better the condition, the higher the value. And if you're lucky enough to have one in mint condition, well, you might just have a little treasure on your hands. To truly understand the value, it's essential to consider the historical context. The year 1908 marked a significant period in American history, and having a coin from that time adds an extra layer of historical appeal. Now, let's talk about the current market trends. The value of coins can fluctuate based on the demand from collectors and investors. Keep an eye on auction results, online marketplaces, and coin shows to gauge the current market value of the 1908 South Lincoln Center. To get a more in-depth understanding, we reached out to Pawn Star, a renowned numismatist. Pawn Star, could you shed some light on what makes the 1908 South Lincoln Center so valuable? Certainly. The 1908 South Lincoln Center is highly sought after due to its limited mintage and historical significance. Collectors are always on the lookout for coins that tell a story, and this one, featuring Abraham Lincoln, is a prime example. There you have it, folks. The 1908 South Abraham Lincoln One Center coin is not just a penny, it's a piece of history that could hold significant value. If you're a coin collector or just happen to have one of these coins lying around, it might be worth taking a closer look and doing some research to see if you've got a hidden treasure in your collection. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, 
subscribe to World Information HD, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on our latest coin-related content. Until next time, happy collecting! Today, we have a real gem to discuss, the 1907 Barber Quarter Dollar Coin. If you've stumbled upon one of these, you might just be sitting on a hidden treasure. So, let's dive right in and explore the fascinating world of the 1907 Barber Quarter Dollar. Before we delve into its value, let's take a quick trip down memory lane. The Barber Quarter was designed by Charles E. Barber, the chief engraver of the United States Mint. The year 1907 marked the end of the Barber Quarter series, making the 1907 edition quite special for collectors and investors alike. Now, let's talk about the factors that determine the value of a 1907 Barber Quarter. Condition, rarity, and demand are crucial. If your coin is in mint condition or has a low mintage, its value could be significantly higher. Additionally, the demand among collectors can drive up the price, so keep an eye out for those unique features. Take a look at this, the 1907 Barber Quarter comes in various mint marks, such as Philadelphia, No Mint Mark, Denver, D, and New Orleans, O. Each mint mark carries its own story, adding an extra layer of intrigue for collectors. Also, the coin's condition, graded on a scale from poor to mint state, plays a pivotal role in determining its value. Curious about market trends? The value of the 1907 Barber Quarter has shown a steady increase over the years. As more collectors join the hunt for these coins, the prices continue to rise. So, if you have one in your collection, it might be worth reassessing its current value. Now, for those eager to evaluate the value of their 1907 Barber Quarter, consider consulting with reputable coin dealers, checking online auctions, or using grading services. These steps can provide valuable insights into the current market value of your coin. There you have it, folks, the 1907 Barber Quarter Dollar, a piece of history that might just be worth more than you think. Remember to subscribe to World Information HD for more coin-related content. If you've got a 1907 Barber Quarter, share your thoughts and experiences in the comments below. Happy collecting, and until next time, keep hunting for those hidden treasures. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of coin collecting, and we've got a real treasure to discuss, the 1907 Abraham Lincoln one-cent coin. This little piece of history holds more than just its face value, so stick around as we uncover its secrets, discuss its value, and find out if it's worth more than you might think. Before we jump into the value and worth of the 1907 Abraham Lincoln one-cent coin, let's take a quick trip down memory lane. This coin was minted over a century ago, and it features a timeless image of the great Abraham Lincoln, our 16th president. Now, let's get to the exciting part, the value. When determining the value of a coin, there are several factors to consider. Condition, rarity, and demand all play a role in determining its worth $11,000. The 1907 Lincoln cent comes in various conditions, ranging from well-circulated to mint state. The better the condition, the higher the value. Rarity can significantly impact a coin's value. Check for any special varieties or mint marks. In 1907, the Philadelphia Mint, Denver Mint, and San Francisco Mint produced these coins, each with its own potential rarity. Look closely for that small D or S mint mark, as it can make a big difference in the coin's scarcity. The law of supply and demand also applies to coin collecting. The more collectors seeking a specific coin, the higher its value. Keep an eye on market trends and auctions to gauge the current demand for the 1907 Lincoln cent. If you're unsure about the value of your coin, consider seeking the expertise of a professional coin appraiser. They can provide you with a more accurate assessment based on the coin's specific features and condition. So, What's the bottom line? The 1907 Abraham Lincoln one-cent coin can hold significant value, depending on its condition, rarity, and demand. If you have one in your collection, it might be worth taking a closer look. Have you come across this coin before? Let us know in the comments below. 
And if you have any questions or want to share your coin collecting experiences, feel free to reach out. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the world of coin collecting, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, and ring the notification bell for more fascinating content. Until next time, happy collecting! Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of coin collecting, and we have a real gem to talk about, the US 1906 Barber 5 Cent Coin. If you're curious about its history, value, and whether it's worth some serious money, you're in the right place. But before we get started, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on our coin-related content. Now, let's start with a bit of background on the 1906 Barber Nickel. Designed by Charles E. Barber, this coin features Lady Liberty on the obverse and a wreath on the reverse. It's a classic design that was part of the Barber coinage series produced from 1892 to 1916. So, what makes the 1906 edition special? Well, let's find out. In 1906, the United States was going through some significant changes. Theodore Roosevelt was in the White House, and the country was experiencing a period of economic growth. The 1906 Barber Nickel reflects this time in history, and its unique design makes it a sought-after piece among collectors. Taking a closer look at the coin, you'll notice the intricate details on both sides. Lady Liberty's profile is beautifully depicted, and the wreath on the reverse adds a touch of elegance. Minted in Philadelphia, Denver, and San Francisco, the coin's condition, mint mark, and rarity play a crucial role in determining its value. Now, let's talk about what makes a 1906 Barber Nickel valuable. Like any coin, factors such as rarity, condition, and demand among collectors can significantly impact its worth. If you're lucky enough to find one in pristine condition or with a rare mint mark, you could be looking at a valuable addition to your collection. So, the big question, is the 1906 Barber Nickel worth money? Well, the short answer is yes, but the value can vary. As of my last knowledge update in 2022, a 1906 Barber Nickel in good condition could be valued anywhere from $50,000 to $60,000 depending on specific factors. However, for a coin in excellent condition or with unique characteristics, the value could climb even higher. For those of you interested in coin collecting, here's a pro tip, always consider getting your coins professionally appraised. Condition and rarity can be subtle, and an expert's opinion can make a significant difference in accurately assessing the value of your coins. And there you have it, a closer look at the US 1906 Barber 5 cent coin. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting, exploring the history and value of coins is always a fascinating journey. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, happy collecting! Thanks for joining us today on World Information HD. If you want to stay updated on all things coins and currency, make sure to subscribe. See you in the next video.